Hi, I'm Joey Henderson. I'm with iConnect Training. We're here at the AHR Expo. And today I want to talk to you about our TU-601 Mini Split Training Unit. Now what we have here is we've got a outdoor mini split unit. We've got a fault box. It has actually nine built-in faults that you can set on this unit in any combination. On top here, we have our sight glasses showing the condition of the refrigerant. And then as you work your way over here, as a student looks, they come over here and we actually have the entire insides of this mini split pulled out so they can see it in real time. So here we've got all of our permanent gauges mounted so they can watch all the pressures as the system runs. This is actually running as we speak. They can see an electronic expansion valve. They can even use this to troubleshoot. They can use their meters to read voltages. Uh, and you can even simulate whenever we pull them off. There's a lot of different ways that you could use this system. But one of the things we really like the most is that in the field, you could never get this view of these components. So here we've got them actually pulled out a live working 3D model. And then we've also got sight glasses on the backside that give us a condition of the refrigerant as well. This is a two head system. So we have a ceiling cassette. And then on the back of this, we also have a wall mount as well. So as an instructor myself, there's several things that we can do to create live scenarios the students would actually have to follow. Some ideas I've got here for you is that we've got built into this box already nine built-in fault switches that you can set in any combination on the unit. And what you can do is you open the box, you'll set the switch off, close it, and then the student does not know what you did. And then they'll actually have to use their meters and their gauges to actually determine exactly what's going on with it. Now, what I do like here is we've got electrically as well as refrigerant faults in here that we would find. And if you come over here, some other good ideas that I really like about it is you can actually take the solenoid loose from the reversing valve. You can actually uh, have them ohm out the solenoid. We have the compressor here. We can check that and then we can also do our superheat and subcooling readings right here on this system. Uh, and with our electronic expansion valves, we can use that to simulate failed ones. We have dip switches in there to actually kill the power to the electronic expansion valves. Or you can have them come over here and ohm out each of these valves. So here we are, we're on the back side of the TU-601 training unit. And we've got our second head and this is our wall mount. So down here, we have a set of louvers. We can actually control the amount of air going through the outdoor coil. So this would simulate restrictions due to dirty coils, leaves getting stuck up against it. You name it, you can create it. Down here, we have our sight glasses where we can see the condition of the refrigerant going through the system. And with this, this is actually, without having to get into the compressor itself, these are actually to simulate our shorted windings, our grounded windings, and open windings. And the student can get to it right here and check that out. And that's just a few of the lessons that you can do. And again, the only limitation is your imagination. <laughs>